right here is my main driver. This is my video editing SPX 15. It's a Dell laptop, features an i7 9th generation, NVIDIA 1650, 32 gigs of RAM, one terabyte SSD. And when I first bought this, it was amazing. But over time, editing 4K videos, Premiere Pro and user, After Effects, it's, I need to essentially make proxies for every 4K video edit that I do. And over time, it's just been getting slower and slower and slower where I'm like, it feels like I'm starting up a turtle here. But that's the thing. I was like, do I stick with our lineup? and get the equivalent of this in 2025. I bought this in 2020. It's a five-year-old laptop now. And it was time for an upgrade. But the big decision that I made was I need something that's fast, primarily can edit video, super quick in terms of rendering, and I can scrub through the timeline without pulling my hair. And the Dell, I just had enough. And after years and years of being a PC user, I think it's time to move on because Dell completely messed up their entire lineup. It's the Dell 16 Premium that I'm looking to replace this with. And it cost ridiculous if I wanted to upgrade to have the highest specs, the highest uh, CPU, GPU. And I was like, you know what? How about I get me a Mac? So I finally decided to upgrade. This right here is MacBook Pro. And you're like, which version did you get? This is the 14 inch. It is the M4 Pro chip. A lot of videos of where I'm like, do I get the M4, the M Pro, the M4 Pro Max? And I decided to get the M4 Pro because I'm not editing 6K video. This is the 14 inch model, 12 core, the 48 gigs of RAM that I decided to upgrade and not have the standard 22 gigs of RAM. It has the 10 core GPU, as well as I upgraded to the one terabyte SSD. But I was always a very loyal, loyal um, PC user until this Dell just made me, I'm, I'm literally gonna throw this out though, the, the, the window, pun intended. And I'm gonna give you a little comparison. Wow, this is like really smudgy. So all I have here on my right side is all these raw clips straight from my SSD, my Samsung T7, link in the description, you wanna check it out. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna drag this into my timeline. This is a 5K video right here, you're looking on the screen. person to live in Vancouver, to have your own place, to have your own car, and sh to prove to the bank that I can own a home. On my Dell SPS 15, I can't even play this. The house it stutters. Enemies. <laughs> or. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna double up these layers. So I'm gonna have two five clips on top of each other. See if it stutters. They're looking at. 1.7 full resolution guys this type of house, at least oh two million. it's stuttering now a little bit two a million. little bit canadian dollars we have 1.5 usd let's make it struggle some more throw in a third clip Until all the inflation and the housing economy took over a little stutter um but i have three 5k videos on this but and it's at full resolution which i'm very impressed I dropped this down to 1 over 16th. Let's see if this improves playback. Can afford it. No one. And Smooth. Can, 1 over 16. And guys, this is unplugged. There has to be like a... This is unplugged, guys. So I'm going to plug this in here. Struggling a little bit, but it's what expected. You're taking a GoPro 10-bit footage, 5K, right? So that's 5K footage. My Dell can't even do that, so now I'm gonna to try to, uh, let's drag in some 4K clips on my Nikon here. 
I can scrub through this timeline fine. This is full resolution, by the way. So I'm very impressed with this coming from a Dell XPS 15. And of course, if I play this on um, 1 8th of a quality playback, should stutter less. This right here, guys, is my Dell. I'm pressing play. And as you can see, with one clip, it's struggling. The fan is coming on. Full resolution. And look at this. It's frozen. It is completely frozen. Press play. 1 over 16. It's very choppy. Very choppy. So the only way to salvage it is clips. It's like dropping frames. If, if, it's, if I proxied everything. And... Uh, over the time, I started to be done with um, the XPS lineup. So I'm going to plug this in right now to give it, you know, a more fair chance. Uh, no, there's a stereotype that people are told. Um, um, you've been here for a decade. How do you feel? Yeah, I mean... So this is 1 over 8th uh, resolution playback. Put this on full. There's a stereotype that people are cold, but... On a case by case, I guess. Most people that you meet are friendly. They're Canadian. They got that friendliness. Not bad, but because now I'm plugged in. Remember, I did not plug in my MacBook. Full resolution, choppy. So uh, that's one of the reasons why I decided to upgrade. As you can see, a little glimpse into my life of being a full time content creator, being a one person show. Most of the time, you need a solid work laptop. And the MacBook is so far proving to be supreme by using the GPU M4 Pro chip. Struggled a little bit. 5K video editing, 4K was fine. If you want to be super like confident, M4 Pro Max. But M4 Pro, this edition that I got, did is more than chef's kiss. If you guys want to check out both the laptops I mentioned, link in the description below. And I'll give you, let's say six month review to get my honest opinions on this but so far i am like mind blown you guys let me know are you guys team mac or team pc still i think for content creation another thing it has an sd card slot whereas like the dell the new lineup of dell it has a micro sd card i'm like what are y'all thinking but yeah you're watching Broke Vision Collective. My name is Peter, and we all start with nothing. But you can always create something. Cheers, guys.